Hi, my name is Arsema Thomas, and I am excited for you to watch my five and five with L.U.K. I start off with hair because then it gives you time to let everything like marinate. Um, and what I start with, especially when my hair is in a protective style, is Hairdo by Organic Grow, Organi Grow Hair Co. It's a very long name, but it's really cool. I found it randomly on Instagram. It's uh, owned by a black woman who is also a Grammy award winning artist. I did not realize, but all of her stuff is vegan. I love it when you can, you know what's in the ingredients. This uh, leave-in conditioner, I begged to have on set. Um, it's just something really nice to, I don't know, bring your hair back to life, especially if you are wearing wigs for six months straight. I don't think I ever saw my hair for all of last summer. So knowing that this was working underneath kind of, uh, I don't know, I knew it would still be there, the hair. So you can kind of rest easy with that security. So yeah, I highly recommend. I just always do a little bit of a spray to just kind of like revitalize everything. It just makes it feel like you're just starting your day from scalp to toe. It's just quite nice and it smells so good. So this one has aloe vera, which is nice, and jojoba, so it smells really good. So yeah, you just get it in there. I'm gonna take my hairband off so you can get into all of the roots. Okay. So while that is doing its thing, the next thing I do is I put on Atmosphere Protection Cream by Osea. Um, yeah, it's a pollution barrier. See, that's genius to know. Super hydrating, all natural. It's so nice because it feels and works kind of like um, a sunscreen, but also kind of protects your skin from all of like the pollutants. So I am going on a flight tonight, um, and this is my number one thing to put on because people be coughing and there's a lot of stuff in an airplane. Okay. So it's quite light, which is so nice. I got this while I was in California. It's one of my favorite products. I would highly recommend Osea for pretty much anything on the body. The next thing I usually do is a lip scrub. I have the world's chapped lips. Not only is just chapstick not gonna do it for me, but I need something to exfoliate. And the lip bar, they are genius. It's just a random gift that I got in uh, from Essence, Black Women in Hollywood. I'd never heard about them before. I love their chapstick. And then I found out they had a moisturizing lip scrub. So not only does it scrub, but it also moisturizes, which is nice, because then you don't have to wash it off. At least I, I don't. It tastes good. <laughs> and then just with a little napkin, wipe off all of the residue. And then it feels, I don't know, lotion-y stuff there, so it's nice. The next thing I do is I put on a little bit of mascara, especially if I'm not wearing like a full face of makeup. Um, mascara is just like the number one thing that I know will bring everything together. This is by Milk. I like their stuff. This is called Kush Mascara, but I like it because it's small, it's a travel size, and it has a really great thick brush. And I'll show you how it looks. I love putting on many, many, many coats of mascara. I love a thick lash. And I used to read when I was a kid in these like fashion magazines, um, like Elle, if you like jiggle the brush all the way up the lash, it makes it longer. I think Eva Longoria said that. And I have found out to be the most helpful thing. I do that more than I use a primer. I put it on the bottom and the top, and then I put it all on like the tip of the edges because that's where you want to get like the extra length. And it's just really much like putting paint on paint on paint. So your lashes become longer, maths. And the beautiful part about when you're running out of mascara is that the mascara can then become something for your eyebrows. So. Usually right after I do my lashes, I don't put the brush back inside. I just use that, whatever's like left in the ink to kind of go over my brows. Cause I love a defined brow. And I feel like when you put on your eyebrows, it feels, um, I don't know, like you've done the full job. The last thing I use, I love a good scent. Vanilla is my favorite scent of all. When I was a kid, I loved it so much that I would soak myself in vanilla tea in the bath thinking that I would come out smelling like it, and it did nothing of the sort. But this 
essentially does that. Um, it's by Nest New York. They're a really great company. And it's a perfume oil, which I find to be one of the most revolutionary things. It's like from 2025. So yeah, I put some on my wrists, just like that. Oh, it smells so good, sorry. Um, I put some on the top of my wrist. I pretty much also put it everywhere, but the back of the neck is the number one place because if you put it at the front, it causes wrinkles and I guess we don't want that. So I put it on the back. Also when someone hugs you, they get that whiff of vanilla. Um, so yeah, honestly, I really do put it everywhere. Um, it is oil, so I assume that it moisturizes. So the hair's been moisturized. The face is pretty much done. I can go on my flight and not feel like my face is too full of things or I'm naked in the face. And, and I think that's five minutes. <laughs> my name is Arsema. Um, and thank you so much for watching my five and five with LUK.